Hey everyone, Raymond with another quick video from Arcade Components. Today we're going to be crimping some cables, so we need some connectors, and I've already made a few. These are simply ribbon cables with IDC connectors crimped on them, and to crimp them we're going to use the trusty bench vise. So I've got a 4 inch bench vise along with some padded jaw inserts. The padded jaw inserts are something that comes in very handy. These I got, oh, Harbor Freight or Northern Tool, one of those places. And they just, they're magnetic, they're aluminum, they got the magnet in there and they'll just stick right into your vise. So we're going to use that to crimp these connections. Now when you put these connectors on, there's a couple different ways that they can face. They can face with this little lump to the top, the key going to the top, or the key can face downward. And the key typically is going to face the direction the components are going. So for Galaga boards, which I'm making these for, the key goes up on this side and goes outward on that side as well because the components are facing out on both sides of the board. Now putting these connectors on is real simple if you have a device. I'm just going to feed the cable in, line it up, making sure that it's sitting on here squarely so I don't crimp it crooked. I'm going to squeeze it with a couple of fingers to hold it in place and then I'm just going to use the device just to seat it down just a little bit, not all the way just enough to get the cable started and then we're going to put it in long ways and we're going to seat it until it, go in, until it clicks home and you just go slow until you see the connector seat all the way you don't need to crank it real tight because you don't want to damage the housing but there you go, one crimped connector now it's just a matter of putting the other one on making sure that it faces the correct direction and you can make these a little smaller than factory or a little longer than factory. It doesn't really matter on that part because there's plenty of slack. I kind of like having them all pretty close to the factory length just for grins. And then once you get them in there and you get it lined up and you get it started again then we can take it and crimp it the rest of the way. I'm going to tuck this up under in the vise to give room so I can do this straight and flat. And you'll feel it with resistance and then suddenly it'll finish. And that's when you know you've got it on there and you've got it on there correctly. Now we've got both of them on and we can use a really sharp knife with a new blade to come in here and trim the cable just be really careful because you got to push and get the cable cut. <laughs> you don't want to slip and slice yourself wide open with these things. And you could just peer at the end to look to see if you got any cables that are touching. They're shiny, so it's pretty easy to see. But that's it. Really simple to do. Uh, next video, I think I'll show you how to do these with the IDP headers that you use for making replacements for Miss Pac-Man for the daughter boards. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed it.